calling it lads some of you might feel like you're in limbo at the moment watching our channel but we're in limbo too we're still in scotland you've got a lot of questions for us and this week we're gonna answer them while showing you around the stunning glen co also we've got a really really exciting project that you guys can get involved with later this year so stay tuned for that but for now come in for a cuppa morning trevor first question for you is why ain't the kettle on yet so yes sir so the first question on everyone's minds the main question including ours is have you got the keys for the house yet lord and the answer is no <laughs> We've been waiting for ages. We were given a date of this week to have the keys, which still has taken a long time because when when did we technically... I think end of November we, we got the offer accepted. We, yeah, which was the most incredible day ever. We couldn't believe our luck. And I'm not sure why it's taken this long, but it just has. The main issue is that there's a problem with the water supply. So we're just trying to figure that out before we can actually move forward. Yeah. Uh, another question is, is the seller being difficult? No, the sellers have been lovely. Yeah, we actually follow each other on Instagram and they are the loveliest souls. It's yeah. not them at all. I think it's like, I don't know, if you've ever sold a house or bought a house, like the solicitors, they can just take a while. This water's like, I think the last issue. Yeah. Then just, I'm going to say in the next two weeks, we'll have the keys. Yeah. The other question is, does it usually take this long in the UK? It usually takes around three months in the UK to like close on a house. Usually it can be longer if there's like another sale involved, but we literally don't have a house to sell. So. Yeah. We were the perfect buyers. Like we didn't have a house to sell. They were like subject to no surveys. We don't want you to do any surveys on there. We were like, fine, that's fine. We'll deal with what we get when we get it. You know, there was nothing on our side to prohibit this from moving forward. So yeah, fingers crossed guys in the next two weeks. Someone asks, sneak peek of Amy's Pinterest board for the new house. Usually I would take on like the design stuff, but we've always done it as a joint venture, haven't we? It always gets a sign off from me, don't worry about that. Nah, we're pretty good. I think we've got quite similar tastes. Yeah. I think Amy goes more left field than I do. Mm. So I have to rein her in sometimes because some stuff is a bit wacky. If it was up to Amy, it would be full 80s nan. Floral, 80s. Too, too much clutter, 60s nan. I go 60s. We had some good advice from our mates Mitch and Joe who said, if you choose a theme yeah. between you, yeah. then if it strays from that theme, then nobody can say anything. So our theme is modern country. No, no, it wasn't Craig. What is it then? <laughs> it was vintage modern. You can't have vintage modern, that. You can have aspects of both, which would be a bit of me and a bit of you. So we're going to fall out then is the answer <laughs> yeah. to that question. So here's a few little sneak peeks of what we've been saving from Instagram and Pinterest and whatever. Bringing in older aspects, I think, and not keeping it like Ikea. Not that Ikea is bad because we love Ikea and most of the bus is Ikea. But yeah, I really want this one to be like a... Unique. Yeah, unique sort of older classy bird, you know? Unique New York. New York. <laughs> which runs on nicely to the next question, which is what do you want Amy to learn from the build and vice versa? I think what, what I want Amy to learn is hard graft and keeping to a schedule. So what happens when we go to Gary's, Amy will like flick a paintbrush here and there and then she goes and sits on the laptop and she's like, I'm doing emails. And me and Gary are sweating. I run We're this lifting business. stuff. We're getting stuck in. Do you know we're getting oil in our fingertips? What do they say? Too many cooks? Too many cooks don't get the meal finished, is what they say. Yeah, so if I was to help you and Gary, there'd be too many people too trying many, too many cooks. to put silicone on the roof and you don't need three too people. Too many cooks make the meal quicker, is what they say. Anyway, Craig's favourite saying is, oh, that'll do. <laughs> it literally is. So he'll stick something up and it'll be wonky. And then he'll go, oh, that'll do. And I'm sitting there going, um, <laughs> I haven't got OCD that, on like, no, that's true. That's things true. being straight or anything. But true. I'm like, I would really love it. If I, you would take more pride. No, I do. I, I also, <laughs> I think my <laughs> problem is, I'm a doer and I like getting stuff done. I like ticking things off. And I'm aware that I am a that'll do kind yeah, of guy sometimes. Patient, yeah, yeah. I think that like somebody asked us, what is our word going to be for this year? And I honestly think it's going to be patience because it's going to take a long time. and It's going to take a lot of patience to be able to renovate this cottage together. We're two separate minds. You know, I want something, Craig's wants something. We're going to have to have the patience with each other to come together and do it as a team, yeah. you know? And we are a good team when Craig listens to me. 
but also I know that I might have to learn a lot of things and I want to also I don't want to be you know the woman who makes the tea and and does the emails and stuff like I want to be able to get my hands dirty and really feel like this is my own house and that I've in a way built it you will build it I will and it'll be strict that'll do <laughs> we're gonna take you to a really cool place and fingers crossed there's some things there that should be there because they're beautiful. You'll see what I mean in a minute. What a mystery. <laughs> okay, next question. How will you cope with not so friendly locals? There you have it. Don't come trespassing. Trevor, I love you. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> um, we've actually had about, is it six neighbours reach out to us? Quite a few, yeah. Yeah, six or seven of the neighbours have seen the video that we did and was like, oh, I'm your neighbour from down the road. I think the closest one is like half a mile away, which is really cool because they said that they want to meet up with us, that we're very welcome to come over as soon as we get the keys and like we can all introduce ourselves and did they say something about doing a meetup at the local village pub? Something like that, yeah, that'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. So they seem absolutely lovely. And one of the closest ones to us, just across the forest, actually has Highland cows. So uh, we'll probably go to them first. But I hope you know, if you're watching, that I'm going to be coming over every single day. Next question. Have you set a date for the wedding? Nothing official yet, but we're thinking 2020. Five. No, Craig, that's wrong. <laughs> uh, my brother's getting married next year. He's actually asked me to be best man as well, which is class. It's the first time I've been a best man. Yeah. Would you believe it? Um, so yeah, we didn't want to like have our family have to save like and do two in one year. So, yeah. so we're thinking 2026. And I don't think I'm ready either. Like, you know, people are like, oh, just a small wedding, you know, we'll go to like a registry. No, none of it. I want it massive. I want the biggest wedding day that is ever to be on the planet. Well, no, actually we want it to be like a weekend. We almost want it to be like a mini festival. Yeah. Because with us, like we've got so many friends from all over the place. All over the world, yeah. And if everyone's like coming in from all over, we don't want it to just be for one day. Do you know what I mean? We want to get everyone together so yeah. we can all hang out and chat and stuff. So yeah. Yeah. Festival wedding. But not tacky. Not like a circus. I'm thinking Scotland. I think that's where we will get married. The major spoiler alert is it's going to be fancy dress. I haven't been fully signed off by me yet. so we'll Which is going to be fantastic because I already know what I'm going to be and it's amazing. If you live in Scotland and you think that you know of like an incredibly unique spot to get married, drop it in the comments below because I would love to make it a full Scottish do. All right, the next question is what kind of animals besides dogs and cows are you going to have on this property? Well, you know, there's going to be like hippos, giraffes, penguins, pandas, lions. Like, oh, I want them all. We want them all, but in reality, I think we're still going to be traveling in the future. So to have any kind of animal is just a commitment where we wouldn't want to have an animal and then just bugger off and leave it with someone. So for now, we're not going to be getting any, <laughs> which is a real shame. But maybe, maybe we'll borrow some dogs off some people. Next question is, how is your pal Gary doing? Yep. How you know? We're doing a question and answer, and everybody's asking yeah. how you're doing. They want to know. Doing quite good. Thanks very much for all the support from everyone. Back on the tablets for my fourth session standing tomorrow morning. Uh, they're making me really tired, and tips of my fingers I can't feel very well. Yeah. After a few hours. Um, otherwise, I'm uh, not, not doing too bad. Yeah, pretty cool. good. My face, my face goes quite red in the morning. Twitch <laughs> Always lush to keep updated with Gary. He is going to come up and help us with the renovations, of course. And yes, his bedroom will be the biggest in the house. <laughs> He's our national treasure. We've got to look after him. Craig, I can see them. I gotta go. I, I gotta go. Say hello. Who's that? Your mate, is it, Trev? That's going to be me one day. This kid can't contain herself. Oh, it's just so special. I think there's a wedding going on here today, so we've snuck past a little bit, but the stags are out and they're in the most incredible spot. There's a piper playing over in the corner. It feels so wonderful, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is class, isn't it? On to the questions, Trent. Sorry, I got too distracted, man. Um, Chris, mate, he's asked, what part of the renovations are you most excited for? I'm most excited for a record in a massive extension. Uh-huh. It's going to be big. 
you're loving it, aren't you? That's so cute as well. Bye. Love you. There's a stag up there that's ramming everyone that walks past, but he's just so docile and content. Must be the baby. His grass. Absolutely amazing. What a spot, eh? The next question is, what annoys you the most about your partner? When I'm tired and Craig always says, how much water have you drunk today? Talking of water, this video is sponsored by Bottle Bottle. You are literally the most dehydrated person I know though. Probably. You just don't drink enough. Dude, did I just hear you say you don't drink enough water? Damn. You need a bottle bottle. Did he just say bottle bottle? Did he mean bottle bottle? Yeah, that's what I said, man. For all your hydration needs. Hydration. Yo, check this thing out, man. It has a dual use lid design. It's like one of a kind. You can drink water with a straw or pour it. Not to mention there's an additional storage space at the bottom of the bottle, which can be used to store pills, vitamin tablets, or tea bags. And with a stainless steel ring, it's super easy to carry around. Check it out. Oh, I do love that color though. Super red, eh? Yeah, it's like basically the best. This is how much H2O you need to drink daily. And it keeps your drinks cold for up to 24 hours and hot for 12 hours. Hydration. They do sound quite good, lads. Got any discount codes? Just head to the link in our description and use code 15HYDROXYT for 15% 15 off. Cheers, bro. Oh, I don't want to leave Craig. <laughs> well, then we got to see them. All right, next question. Jodsky says, any top recommendations for the NC500? A lot of people ask us, you know, top recommendations for the whole of Scotland. We've actually got our own Scotland Google Maps guide on our website. Yeah, we do. Literally every single epic place we've been, all the road trips we've done, we've pinned the top spots. So if you're coming to Scotland, you're overwhelmed with research and everything. We've done it for you. Any highlights from that trip you can remember? Because it was a while ago we did it. Uh, I think Stack Polly is a hike uh, near Ullapool. Unbelievable views. And Trev did it. So if you're worried about fitness levels, Trev can do it. Anyone can do it. Right then, Trev. Where are we off? Um, I'm going to take you to a beautiful photo spot. Mm. Everybody knows this photo spot, Craig. Um, I saw on Instagram a guy with a kilt and it was like flapping in the wind and I was like, we've got to go there. I need to get a kilt at some point. Are we being tourists in our own country? Apparently you can get Welsh tartan. So I'd like to get a Welsh tartan kilt. Maybe get the front in Scottish and the back in Welsh, because that was the past. All right, good question. Martin asks, did the beach buggy from the Put Foot Rally make it home to Scotland? The answer is no. Listen, lads, we never leave a guy behind, okay? So of course, gorgeous George is, he's not quite on his way, but we've got a guy there who's working on him. He went and picked him up from like wherever we left gorgeous George, wherever he, spoiler alert, died halfway up Namibia. He went and got him, brought him back to Cape Town. He's currently fixing him up, doing up his engine so that he's runnable. And then as soon as he's ready and he's working, we're gonna ship him home to Scotland. <laughs> Next question is, would you do van life with children? Whose children? You got a kid that wants to come? Is this like a we're taking kids on tour type of thing? I think one of the most asked questions that we get is, not are you having kids, but when are you having kids? I love kids, like I'm obsessed with kids. I love that so many of our close friends and family have had kids recently and I just, I can't wait to see them all again. We can't even look after ourselves, so we couldn't look after any kids. But yeah, no kids on the agenda. For Craig and Amy. All right, we've got a few more layers on. Doesn't quite look like there's much snow up there, Craig. No. <laughs> Not that we plan on coming snowboarding anything. We just want to have a look. That ski lift goes up to the next mountain, which does have snow on it. We'll have a look, shall we? So all you're going to do is sit down. Okay. I'll tell you when to sit down. Okay. I will also put your safety bar over. You just sit there, feet off the ground, enjoy the view. Okay. I'm nervous. My God. Feet up. Ow, you sat on my finger. Watch, watch your head. There you go, guys. Okay, Come thank you. Here. Cheers, bye. Now, the last time I was on a ski lift like this, Craig, I nearly spewed off the side, so let's just take it easy, everyone. Got some questions for us there, Clive? I'm, I'm too nervous a minute. Let me settle down. <laughs> are you guys estimating for your renovations to take? Well, when we first told our builder 
what we wanted. He said three to four months. Yeah, we've got a builder, by the way. Um, and now we've changed it a lot and it's a lot bigger. So I'd be happy to do it in six months, but I reckon uh, add at least two to that. So maybe eight months. Well, we're helping. So um, 12 years. <laughs> sea Queen says, I love your wigs and I want to start wearing some. Where do you buy your wigs? Well, Sea Queen, I'm actually going to bring out my own wig line this year. Preparations have started and it's a very exciting time. I want the wigs that will be in my line that we will sell to be wicked. We're in talks with a website designer, like we may go and take a few flights to places to have a look at wigs, but ideally I would love to get my own wigs made so that they're really, really good quality. They're ethical, recyclable, I want to do it right, so it will take a while, but I'm very excited to be able to start this because I love, I love wigs. I love the way they make me feel. I, I just love how much confidence they give me and I know they give it to you guys as well. I get so many emails off lovely ladies and men who are going through treatment that want to know where I get my things from. Um, and I just want to offer you the best because these aren't the best. They look lovely, but they're not the best. So if you can hold on for a minute, there's good things coming soon. Now I'm gonna leave your name off this one and you'll know why once I've asked the question. Do you need to apply for a visa to live in the new country? It's been, that's been another hassle, trying to get up to Scotland, applying for our visas, yeah. going for our immigration interviews. Yeah. You yeah. know, getting new passports and things sorted. Yeah. No, you don't need a visa. <laughs> it's part of the UK, you maniac. So you know who you are, whoever asked that question. You just, uh, you do a bit more research on your geography, pal. Taking a bit of a turn for the worst. Basically stuck in a rain cloud on a ski lift. Scotland, what are you doing? Trev told me there was a cafe up here so you could come get some food. Turns out there's not a cafe up here. Unless that's it. You could be in luck. If that's it, that's not it, you're getting a smack bottom. He's off the hook. There's a cafe at the top. Bit of family sledding. Here we go. How are you doing? <laughs> Hello! Hello, what's your name? I'm Maria. Maria, nice to meet you. How are you doing? Okay, so we've got some lovely hot tomato soup, some teas, some bread and butter. It should warm us up a little bit. More questions coming in. Next question is, where is chapati? If you don't know who chapati is, do you want to do a quick summary, Amy? We took chapati, the rickshaw, uh, also known as a tuk-tuk, from the north to the south of India. So Craig drove all that, 3,500 miles or something. Spoiler alert, we brought her home, shipped her back, and then I flipped her in Wales when I drove it. So she's in a bit of a state, and at the moment she's in Gary's back garden and he's doing her up. Gary's gonna fix her up. She's gonna come up to the house and she's gonna sit there and get rusty. Okay, we're both a little bit scared to drive her. <laughs> like, that's fair, because it was a terrifying accident. But like I said earlier, like we, we never leave a man behind. So she has to come back with us. Put your hands up if you'd love to see us go around the NC500 this summer in Chapati. Next question is, would you host us in your new place? And the answer is, as much as we'd love to, no. <coughs> Actually, no, we wouldn't love to because it's gonna be our house. And unless you're friends or family or we know you, then it's not an open house. I'll take it from here. <laughs> what Craig's trying to say nicely is we get to meet so many of you guys. Like obviously you watch us on YouTube and stuff and you feel like you know us and I, I I love it when yeah, you guys great. stop us in the street or you, you, you're like custards. It just makes our day. But I think YouTube is like that section. It's, it's essentially our job. Do you know what I'm saying? And we will have our house on the other side, which is where we want to go. We'll, we'll retreat back. We want it to be our sanctuary, our home, and somewhere where we can just take our head away from everything. It's not just one person that's asked if they can come up, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's and a lot of people. We're just asking you all to like respect that privacy. Yeah not come knocking like when we're out in custard it's different because yeah. we're like out and about the windows are open you can see us yeah and that's fair enough but yeah should we go it's raining i gotta say though if there was snow this would be so fun like there's quite a few little lifts there's a nice little cafe there's soup and tea go sledding so uh yeah next time there's a big snowfall we definitely have to head up to gun co and have a little bash eh trev right. amy wore rubber boots <laughs> This will never not Shut be terrifying. Whoa, look at the view, that was all cleared. <laughs> Going back down is a bit scary, isn't it? Wow, that is incredible, isn't it? All right, we'll do a little quick fire round. What's your favourite sandwich? Crisp. Crisp sandwich. 
Ooh. Crisp sandwich, mate, elite. I'm not sure, but my least favorite is falafel. Opinions on One Direction, absolute vibe. Absolutely sh Do you have any family in the area of Scotland that you're moving to? No. Zero, zilch, nobody at all. Like we Quick don't... fire, remember? Um, how is learning the bagpipes going? Where's the on button? Being vegan, are you both gassy? Absolutely. Amy more than me. Uh, your top five doggy names. Five, I'll give you 17, you ready? <coughs> Little Chomp, Lunchbox, Bug, Baguette, Goose, Spagbol, Blanche, Penguin, Porridge, Pickle, Hiccup, Banana, Ravioli, Granola, <laughs> Baby Bell, Onion, Honey for short, and Stilton. Honey. I think Spagball's my favourite one. <laughs> Imagine in the park, Spagball! <laughs> Spagball! Uh, Crogbit asks if we'd ever get a cat. You are right, mate? Crow. Amy, favourite whiskey, and Craig, favourite wig? Um, Lafroig. Ooh. Um, short ginger. And we're back in the bus. All right, guys, are you ready to hear the most exciting news that you will hear all year? It's gonna make your whole year. The question is, Sierra asks, are you going to be doing another crazy fundraiser this year like the trolley bin? If by trolley bin you mean the wheelie bin, then yes, yes we are. For those of you who don't know, we are officially Big Moose Charity Ambassadors now. So that basically means that every year we are committing to help raise at least £10,000 for Big Moose who are a mental health charity. They do incredible stuff. The wheelie bin was up there with one of the best things we've ever done. I don't do physical challenges and I loved it. Like honestly, I can't rave enough about how wicked it was. The route that we took was so beautiful and the amount of people that came out and like brought us things and it was so amazing to just be able to meet so many of you on the road and raise money for such a fantastic charity. Wales is stunning. Yeah. Like we've chosen to move to Scotland but Wales will always be our home country. We pushed this bin from north to south. So the plan in September is we're going to do a huge charity event going from North Wales to South Wales, castle to castle with probably, if we can do it, 100 of you people. I was going to say 200 but okay. Maybe one, maybe two. So the idea is north to south on bikes. Tandem if you've got one. Yeah, push bikes for me, not motorbikes. Yeah, but if you do really want to take an e-bike like myself, you can. So the idea is it's going to be over four or five days. There's going to be like parties on the way, mm -hmm. like at campsites and stuff. Hopefully we're going to get some food trucks involved. Some DJs. Some DJs so we can have a little rave every night. All we're doing at the moment is just collecting numbers and yeah. trying to get an idea of how many of you would genuinely be interested in this. So if you've heard us say this you've seen the route you really wanted to come to wales or you're from wales or the uk or somewhere close click the link in the description fill out the form and let us know if you want to get involved we are asking if you do want to be involved that you help contribute to the fundraising and we're gonna go for a big number so on our own well with you guys obviously helping last year we raised 62 grand for big moose so we want to try and raise more than that if we can we want to do 100 g's 100 g's baby <laughs> There'll be a lot more that we can say closer to the time, but yeah, for now, just do you fancy coming on a bike ride with us? Yeah, if you do, click the link. I can't wait. It's going to be bloody wait. brilliant. It was so good doing it, like, and that was walking, so it's just going to be really, really a, a wonderful adventure for all of us. And also, there might be a celebrity appearance from Gary from Barry. If you want to meet Gary from Barry, he's definitely going to be there. <laughs> so, lads, that is it for our Q&A. God knows what we'll be filming next week. Who, who knows? Just Whether we'll have the keys or who knows. Yeah, we'll go hard on our solicitors. We want in as much as you do, so what can we do, you know? And we'll see you, fingers crossed, next week. <laughs>